Welcome back to Trawler's Guitars. This is a take two for this guitar. Uh, I was able to reach a resolution with the original seller after this one was damaged in shipping, so once I did that, uh, I felt like I could actually touch this guitar and clean it up. So I did find out a few different things. These are all good things, so that's why I'm making this update for this guitar. Uh, the headstock, I've now cleaned it up. It's not dusty. Uh, you do have some string uh, scratch right there, but besides that, uh, the rest of it's fairly clean there. Uh, the fretboard has now been oiled and cleaned, and the frets have been polished. They're playing nice. Uh, the action, I, I would call it medium action right now, the way I have it set up, but I find that really comfortable on this guitar. I mean, it can go lower if you want it to have to uh, adjust your bridge and whatnot. But, uh, frets, they show very minor wear. Nothing too bad. Nothing that's going to affect the playability of the guitar. And then the body of the guitar has polishing scratches all over. But nothing too bad. But you got the gorgeous uh, wood grain here, which is really nice. But there are uh, finish swirl marks all over the guitar, especially kind of up here. Okay, so for a temporary fix, I re-super glued the uh, pickup ring there to make that functional again. I can't guarantee that'll survive shipping, so I'm still going to sell it like it's broken, but it should hold up just fine. And then the crack I was talking about... And you can still kind of see the outline of the super glue, but I was able to get it off. That crack that kind of you can kind of see, that's just finish checking. It's not actually in the wood. You can see in the pictures that there's actually finish checking running from there and all the way to down here. But it is not a crack, and it's kind of too hard to get the checking to show up on the video. But I do have a photo when I took it all apart. So we're good there. And also, we're good here. There are no cracks stemming from here like I initially thought. In fact, that little bit just kind of wiped away. However, when I took this off to verify all that, there is a tiny little check underneath the poker chip there. So your body's fine. Uh, your neck, it has some uh, wear to it, but once again, this is still a playable guitar. Back of the headstock is fine. If you're new to this guitar, uh, we're, there, there's some lines running along the neck that I'll show you here. So, but it's not a smile headstock break or anything like that. So your neck has some very light wear, and your back does have some buckle rash when you get into the light. But overall, it is still in very good condition. All the electronics are original, everything's untouched. So we'll take a look at the sides of the guitar. And you have a little bit of wear, but nothing extremely too bad. The maple cap is exposed. So we will get the other stand here and take a look at the neck. I did like a very fine, fine, fine sanding to the neck and then I kind of stopped but what I was able to reveal is that I'm gonna go ahead and say yes this is in the wood but it is not very deep how you would go about fixing this I'm not entirely too sure because it's not really deep enough to sink any glue into so I think this is kind of one that you just kind of have to play it for a long time and then eventually it might open up just enough to put some glue in and clamp it and it'll be fine. Or you might never have any issues at all. But I am going to go ahead and say it's very lightly into the wood. And you can feel it a little bit more now that I sanded some of the finish away. So you could probably just put like a sealer over that and you'd be fine as well. The other side... Uh, I don't think you really have any issue on this side. There is that little line there, but I think that 
It is mainly just a finish check. I can't even get it to show up and I don't even see it anymore. So you mainly just have this one to worry about. And even then you don't have to worry too much. But overall, this guitar is awesome. It looks great. Just look at that. It's a beautiful honey burst. Uh, it's appearing a lot darker on the edges right now, but it is a honey burst. That's because I forgot to turn the fluorescent lights off. There's a more accurate color, the, kind of the light brown. But this is a gorgeous guitar. You got that little... It's, I don't even want to call it a crack, because it's just right at the surface. I mean, this thing is tuned to tension. I was just playing it for an hour. It plays fine. It sounds great. In my opinion, it's nothing to worry about. I mean, you can take it to your tech and have them shoot some glue in it for a hundred bucks, maybe even less, and just not worry about it. But overall, this guitar is still good to play. So if you're interested in the guitar, feel free to contact me at Trogley's Guitars, uh, www.facebook.com slash Trogley's, T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. That's where you can get this, or check us out on Reverb. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.